Tonight in Wake County, rising COVID numbers are not stopping more than 300 youth soccer teams from across the country from competing in a tournament this weekend. CBS 17's Imani Payne joins us live in North Raleigh. And Imani, with the pandemic getting worse, what is being done to try to keep people safe? Well, there is a mask requirement for both players and attendees. There are also several hand sanitizing stations and safety signage posted all around the soccer park. Now, we've been told that there are nearly 10,000 people attending the three-day outdoor tournament, which is taking place at 10 to 15 different locations around Wake County, with players, families, and around 350 scouts coming from more than 20 different states. The event is an opportunity for some players to get time in front of college scouts, which many have not been able to do so far because of the pandemic. The tournament organizer says they're doing everything they can to keep everyone protected. We've been able to showcase throughout the year that you can play soccer and not transfer COVID. And not only can you, but we haven't seen anyone do it yet. Uh, the data continues to support that here across the state, throughout the country as well. Spectators were also restricted to designated areas and asked to social distance. This tournament began on Friday and will end Sunday evening. For now, we're live in Raleigh. Imani Payne, CBS 17 News. All right, thank you, Imani.